Doctor. <laughs> Matthew. Welcome to the channel. Thanks very much. Not been on here for quite some time. One question. We've got an eagle or we've got a head. Wow. This is going to decide the fate of your and my game. Okay. Heads or eagles? Eagle, eagle. Who would ever go for head? If you get it wrong, you're teeing off the backs. If you get it right, you're teeing off the front tees. Okay. Okay, so you've gone eagle. I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, that is a head. So, the aim of this video, we're going to see how different it is from playing from the front to the back tees. I did do this over in La Cala last year, about November, October time, playing off the front on my own, but I want to do it in a match format. So we're going to play four holes here, no, five holes, sorry, here at uh, North Manchester Golf Club, starting on the 10th hole. Yeah, have you checked this? Um, um, yeah, Pete's going to be on here, the 10th, which is 446 yards. It's a win. Dog leg right to left, and my tee is down here about 70 yards in front so it's into wind it's the, one of the longest holes on the course par four i can't draw it it's a dog leg right to left i'm off the back tee. hey the the coin of fate decided it i should have checked that <laughs> all the best play well it's nice it's gone out over the corner of the trees I would say that's pretty decent, to be honest with you. The, the way the hole's shaped. Yeah, yeah perfect. I, mean, I, I struck it well, but. Hey ho, we'll go off down. Before, so. We'll go off down to my tee now. All right, all right. So I, we are now 60 yards forward of where you were. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I'm delighted for you. A little bit easier. I can see a bit more of the hole, so technically, I should hit a better drive. Not. Unbelievable. Can't believe I fell for the weighted coin trick. Again. Just my favourite trick. So we're playing stroke pay in this match. The idea of the video is just basically to show how much distance plays a part in the game now. If I'm teeing off 60, 70 yards in front every time, theoretically it should be easier. Um, but does skill level help for that? So with Peach Drive, he was coming over the water. Yeah, so skill level should make it easier for you as well. Well, you're more skilled, you're a full-time player. Um, as <laughs> You're going straight up. Pete's basically blinded now, so advantage to me straight away. I've knocked it up over the hill as well. Pete's hit a good drive. It's caught the fairway and then bounced back down here because, like I say, he was 60 back. 100 back. 60, easy. Oh, look, he's frying. Oh. So Pete's found himself about 10 yards right of the green. Was a pretty good shot and aiming. Finished the tree he was aiming at, but again, because of the distance element, he couldn't see the green at all as where I was up above and could see exactly where I wanted to land it. Nice looking shot. Go on then. Go on. Oh. Mr Finch. Doesn't even matter if you're 60 yards behind. I don't, I don't think I can keep that up all day. That's a, that's a gimme. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased but surprised. What a shot. Of course I didn't go in to be honest. I was quite, I actually thought, what's going to be a little trick for it? Uh, so, level par after one for Pete. Level on after one. Tees. What do you think the outcome will be of this? Oh, I'm fully confident of a victory. Oh, right, okay. I'm just not saying for who. <laughs> <laughs> someone will win. I think someone will be victorious then. See me at the end of the match.
Oh, I just needed it in. Bit of pace, a little bit slow obviously coming out of lockdown, but all square, level e par. Easiest par in the world though. Yeah, mate. that was the difference. It was no stress whatsoever. On to hole number two, also known as the 11th. So right. up on the on the back tee here, I've already just placed my bag down there on the on the front tee just to show an intimidation factor to Mr. Finch. 153. Downwind? Yeah. Am I right in saying that? I'm gonna go wedge just so I can hit it hard. 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 Is that the Manchester version of hard? Hard. <laughs> hard. Hard. this hard. So pretty straight par three. He's right on the edge, I think. Yeah, it's if you can see the flag here, literally a little Mackenzie up to it beforehand. If you don't get up on top, it's game over. It's coming back down the slope. Ooh, my short game, mate. Well, that's it. You keep scrambling, I'll just flick something on. Giving it a good clip. Just a little left of the stick. Oh, bugs as you are, so I can drop it out. But it was just—it was on the edge. That it yeah. was on the edge. I should have taken it. fryer has got a, like a a chip down onto that green from here. One oh seven thirty yards in front. Right, if you don't beat me on this, this is going to be a it's going to be a national embarrassment. You won't see the light of day, <laughs> so no one will know. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the I'll take the footage off you. I'll put it on my. I'm gonna go 52, just a normal 52. Yeah. It looks almost like a totally different hole from back there when you get closer. Green looks a lot bigger. Try it. It is a totally different hole. Okay. You're gonna be playing a completely different course. Okay. So Pete just pulling it out of the bunker with them being GUR at the moment. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the kind of rule is, but I'm just taking it. Yeah, no, it's quite, I, I would imagine it's like any normal GUR rule, just because Corona's here, Pete, doesn't mean... <laughs> I've not played on it. It feels like I've not played in so long, I don't know what any of this <laughs> means anymore. What is GUR? <laughs> a little pitch up over, there's a yeah, swale, and that runs here. down. Halfway, let it dribble down right to left. Oh, nice shot. Go on there. Oh, Peter. You're clinging on with them fingernails at the moment. I told you, mate. It doesn't matter. To get me off the green, I've got a good chance of holding it. So, Matthew's got the full length of the green to come across after somehow clinging on to the front of the green. Like a sloth that just fell from the branch, he's clinging on with these big long fingernails. I don't know if you've got long fingernails. <laughs> I'm sure he's got beautifully trimmed fingernails. Anyway, sorry. Put across the green. It's got to go a touch. Not bad. Safe par. So, level par for us both at the moment. And as we stand on the 12th, I'll just show you what I'm facing. It's a par 4 that dog legs right to left, goes out, and you can just maybe make out the flag there just fluttering behind one of the trees. It's 275 for me. As we look back to Pete, let me just zoom all the way in back there. He's now 85 yards behind me, so the hole for him is 360. Now, Knocking it on would be a fantastic shot if he were able to do that, but it's a very, very risky shot because the um, the branch, uh, sorry, the copse of trees is quite thick up there. If he gets stuck in it, it'd be a pretty hard pitch as well for me. It's just flying uh, either a three wood or a, a long iron over the top of it, so the distance makes such a difference. Let's see this swing now. So 
look good. Really nice shot he's hit there. May be able to see it just through the trees. He's potentially on the front right of the green, but probably the best drive he could have hoped to have hit. Not bad for myself, like I say. Heck of a lot easier. <laughs> You're not even having to use a driver. <laughs> Be in the hole was the cry. I mean, you can't see through the trees, but I've got my eye on the flag. Oh, just short. That took a really weird bounce. It's kind of stopped. For you there, Pete, I was saying as you were hitting your shot in, that drive was quite high caliber, probably one of the best drives you've hit you know, in a long time. Oh, that, 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 was the, that was the best drive I've hit in three months, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as well, for me, it was just a three wood, just nice and easy over the top of the trees. So straight away, having that 80 yard difference, yeah. becomes a lot easier i think a lot of it depends on what your what your strengths are as well so like around the green at the moment i'm okay yeah but my wedge play so you like 60 yards to 120 yards whatever it be i've literally no idea what that's like so i've got new wedges not practiced it don't know any of my distances so there's no point in me like lay trying to lay distance. up on this one like it's just you just got to go for it and I'm sure there'll be a few holes coming up where I might have to get myself to that distance, but I know what I'm going to hit from like 150 and then 50. Yeah. So, like a 100 yard cap, I want to try and avoid in the middle, but I'm, I can't be anything but happy with that. So, yeah. still trying to. Still trying to rain on my face, still trying to dampen my... It's just part of my mental technique to try and uh, win the game. Mate, it's not going to work. It will. Look how happy and relaxed I am. So, fantastic drive, but just pulled up short. About 15 yards onto the front edge. And we see me just sat there. I feel a weird one, this. I feel I've got to kind of get past your almost. Yeah, I think about five feet past my ball and it'll spit, check up first bounce and and sit dead. You've been killer with the wedges so far. Can you keep the streak alive? I think I'd rather be after the hole. Looks like it's going to be uphill. Back left of the flag going to be uphill, so be a bit aggressive with it. Yeah, back left, that's a uh, short right. I shook that amazing. <laughs> that is like the best, that is the best strike of my long wedge I think I've ever done. And it's 12 foot right. Line. That was a very good looking shot. The way it bounced, it must have pitched on the front of the green. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Velocities spin like buggery. Yes, they do. That is what I've heard. For an eagle, that's dove left. Swung left quickly, that one. Take that. it away. That's a birdie to one under par for moi. Congratulations. Love these little things. Right then, so Peter for birdie now. This puts the pressure on, and that's where I think just that extra little bit of distance, me being able to get right up on the green, plays, plays a huge difference. Not hit the worst pitch in the world, but now he's got a testing putt for birdie to stay level with myself would be a little bit uphill right to left let's see what the man can do way too firm oh, on that just one. run by way too firm <sighs> play stroke play as well yeah yeah we are We are it's very quiet out here. It's lovely. This is more just for you know the, the quest for the open, just give you that practice I think. That's why I'm not giving it you. Lovely. We've not seen it oh we have seen it drop with a shoulder barge. Well done, on to the next. One behind. Lovely drive though. Shame it wasn't on the green like mine. So, 13th hole, it's 396 yards for Pete. It's pretty straight and it's a 
tight looking drive up here falling away to the right hand side so already you've got to hit a great drive but for me you could see my T let me just keep zooming another 96 yards up there it's 300 yards for me so straight away becomes something I can potentially knock on again I mean that that puts it in a very different context doesn't it if it's literally a a difficult tee shot for me yeah. compared to a potential I can Yeah, I can. For me, if I've got driver out, it looks like it's opening up round the green as well. So my miss is a lot greater, as where your miss is a lot tighter, even though you've got further to go. So, you know, even if you hit, if you had driver out on most holes and you were further down, that distance it's showing is you know a critical element if you can get a little bit more yardage yes we'd like to be straight but get a bit more yardage you're going to be better off yeah. anyway good luck with this tight drive <laughs> oh he smoked that and there we see it just drifting off down there lovely very well done sir We have uh, made the walk up to my tee. I have 294 yards to the front tee. Well, it feels like we're into wind here. I'm not sure you're going to be able to get there, but. Now, now. I, you're going to have to hit this well to get there. You're going to have to absolutely swing out your shoes to get there on this. No, no, this is just a normal driver from what? And with a Mizuno driver as well, you're going to have to give it an extra 30%. You hear that, Darren? Uh, disclaimer, I actually, I actually really like the Mizuno drivers now. Yeah, sure. uh, they feel great and they actually go a decent distance, so... Mm. Must be doing somewhere, right? Right. It worked. Wow. Talked him into it. It's got that big miss with driver at the moment. After a fantastic drive, just a hundred yards up to there. Mm. I imagine that that is like the most popular spot yeah. the members ever. 150 down in Dingley Hollow. I'm just up here, about 50 up, but in a slight bit of bother. Good looking shot. Oh! It's all about that routine, kids. That was Pete's Jamaican Scottish accent, there, everybody. <laughs> Although I am close, that's how I would say the only benefit here. I've got a shot at the green. If I'm, <laughs> if I would have hit the same shot from back on your tee. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. It was lot, you know, seriously, guys. Dead on. Here, I can at least try and have a hack towards the green. You've got to come through those gaps there. It kind of pins up there, but it's uphill and there's like trees overhanging. Yeah, I think if I can get front left corner, I'd be a bit of a miracle. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get a yam. I'll get you from here. I can speak. Oh, well out. That's not too bad of a result there, really. Hands okay. Yeah, I'm trying my best to try and break at least one finger this round. Whoa. Oh. So going into the last now, we are both one under par. Slight problem, I didn't check the strokes of the uh, front and back tee so now Pete will be playing further in front of me from the front tee but what I suggest is I play off the yellows because it's a par five on the reds I think that's fair isn't it in the spirit of the fine. I think it's only fair fine. fine so instead of it being a par four and a par five difference uh, from white and reds we're gonna go uh, I'll go off the off the yellows, people go off the whites, and uh, yeah, par four for us both. Level, well, we're both one under par going down here. Who will take it? Comment down below 
who wins, is it? Finchmaster Flex. Or just me, Matt. Or <laughs> <laughs> Matthew. So a par four going all the way down to that flag there in the distance. I'll tell you what. He's giving it a jolly good go. Get going, ball. Just a pair, just a pair now. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think that's this. I didn't, I didn't quite. You've get let yourself that. down. You've let your family down, and most of all, you've let my viewers down. Quite frankly, I held my finish, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Fine, that's heading left. Sure, it'll be fine, but it's going to onto that other fairway somewhere, I think. The fairway. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible swing. I want to go off the front trees again. <laughs> there is the pin, just through the trees. Right. You may think it's a bit weird to be zooming in through the trees, but once you understand that Friar almost missed the fairway on the next hole, <laughs> it's, this isn't an orthodox angle to come in from. It's uh, safe to say, Pete, that my golf quite isn't there at the moment. Uh, lockdown hasn't treated me well. You've you've been playing okay. It's just a couple of very loose shots in the yeah, last two hours. On the way down, when your shaft's about here, <laughs> this far above your trail forearm, I would say you're in quite a bit of trouble. I would say so. And uh, that seems to be the common position I'm getting in at the moment. But 107, 52, I need to get it in close because you're remarkably... Close there to the front edge on this fourth yeah, yard got hole. Yeah, pretty close actually. Uh, it is it is downhill though. Still, I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm not complaining, yeah. but that is a strike. That that sounded amazing. A lot of lot of action on that velocity there. <laughs> Zippy. <laughs> Pete's currently complaining that uh, he's literally a kick away from the front of the green. If there wasn't any rain this morning, if he would have caught it out of the middle. I, on the other hand, was just happy to find my ball after hitting it 80 yards offline. Shows the change in the demeanour, what lockdown can do to a man. Anyway, what have you got in your hands here, sir? Uh, 60 degree. 60 degree. Have you got a lot of stuff to go over, or...? I just can't run it because of the shoulder, so I'm just going to carry on to the front. It should, Fair. should release down. Fair. I'm just worried about missing this 10 yards right on my long ways down, so okay. go for the straight now. Well, you've got the upper hand here. I've got about a 30 footer for birdie if you get in close. <sighs> Who knows? You could win the back tee challenge. So Pete, you, you do. I'm just whittling it in my shed at home at the moment. Pete Back T Finch, you'll be known as. I've missed vlogging. <laughs> I did that. I was going to do a thing for Instagram. That's why I lost it. Have you not seen that fish? I've honestly got like a little bit. <laughs> Do you need a cocoa and a blanket? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. Get there a little bit more. Quite soft that on landing, Mr. Finch. Yeah, I mean, it was again, it was a great strike. I, I just didn't yeah, release as much as I thought. It's one of them things. One of them things. It didn't have a massive amount of grab on that occasion. <laughs> However, it's a birdie port. It looks pretty straight back up the hill, doesn't like it's doing a lot of stuff. Or slightly left, if anything. Slightly it's left. Can it put the pressure on to be. I mean, the trophy I'm whittling is quite, quite remarkable. Travel. Sign of a great putter leaving a birdie putt for the win short. So, Peter claiming two chances at the win, as mine is not yet dead as we see. 
the weighted coin just sat back there. Finch has spent the last 62 days on a put out mat, unfortunately. You know what? Just this distance. Yeah, <laughs> roughly this distance, but the hole is like a ramp with the put out, so he's just got to envision that sort of chalice like cup. <laughs> Which way this is going, it feels. Oh. There's doubt, there's doubt in the finch. Aim point it off one foot and the opposite eye, and ye will find the answer. Old proverb. Here we go finch for the whittled trophy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the back tee champion. Oh, oh. Don't, yeah, don't be. There oh, we go. Oh, it's like the good old days, then. Yeah. Oh. Good old days. Well, congratulations. Yes, mate. That was uh, what we was that two under. Yeah, two birdies, two birdies in a row. That's two. by far the best golf I've played in a long time. Nice. Nice, well done. Oh, On a course we've never played before as well. Congratulations. Yeah, listen, when you can drive it 400 yards, I mean, at any course is accessible, really. There you go. You heard it here first, folks. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, just a challenge there to see what the difference is, if it is a lot easier playing from that further distance forward off the tee and what sort of clubs you go in with. I've hit everything. <laughs> everything I've hit has been either three gap wedges or a nine iron still managed to lose um, I think my level of golf says something for that as well Pete was up to hitting a five iron at one point so interesting little match we're going to try and do a few more of these down at different courses maybe a full nine holes just wanted to uh, experiment stop stop it um, experiment out on this course guys if you don't as well already do go and follow Mr Finch on his channel subscribe to mine down below and I'll see you in another video very soon